Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions. Whoops, that came out. <laughs> so make sure you bring your three yes or no questions in the extended. I will also, or I'm sorry, you should also hit the subscribe button because it is completely free. It doesn't cost you anything, and then you will get notified all things Sagittarius. Okay, I'm going to pull some oracle cards, and we will hop right into your tarot reading. I, I'm using a new tarot deck. All of the decks that I use, they're linked below, so you can go ahead and check those out if you're interested. Okay, the first one, building blocks. Starting something new. Chaos and conflict. The, there's like this... Um, Neutral color into this fire energy. Orphaned. And what you're not seeing, tick-tock. So I wouldn't be surprised if the tower came out. The tower has come out for Leo and Aries already in the exact same spot in both of those readings. So we will see what Sagittarius has, but I would not be surprised if the tower came out. And I feel like there's something that's like projecting you into this. Um, <clears throat> I don't feel like you see this coming. And that's why you get this orphaned card. I feel like maybe you tried to resolve a situation and it ended up blowing up in your face. But I feel like you're not seeing that this situation or this person, it was, it was meant to be. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Wheel of Fortune or the Tower came out. Those are my two predictors. And, you know, two of pentacles is kind of along the lines of, like, the Wheel of Fortune when it comes to, like, TikTok. So we'll see what comes out. The sun. The empress. Both of these came out for Leo, so I feel like you should probably check that reading out most definitely. Eight of pentacles. Five of pentacles. The Emperor, Temperance, and the overall energy, King of Wands. Okay, so the Sun, the Empress, the Emperor, and Temperance came out for Major Arcana. The one thing that I do like is that the Emperor and the Empress are right on top of each other. They are um, about duality. I feel like that's what's actually coming in because I feel like you were trying to resolve a situation that it didn't matter even if it got resolved. It was never going to balance your life out. It was never going to give you the satisfaction or the joy or um, the happiness that you're seeking, the fulfillment, the the at the end of your life when you're looking back and like the satisfaction that you're looking for, I feel like this chaos and conflict had to happen for you to be projected, for you to be pushed out onto your own so you could really self-reflect and look at where you want to go. Whoops. Okay, so <clears throat> the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Um... The reason that this happened, the reason that this chaos and conflict happened was because there was a lesson that you really needed to learn about standing your ground and speaking your voice. I feel like there is a lot of, there's this like energy of people pleasing that I'm really getting right now. And I'm feeling like that is part of like your personal development, your personal evolution of yourself into um, your authenticity is learning how to speak your voice and not necessarily be a people pleaser. I, um, I'm having a hard time swallowing, so I'm feeling like you might have some throat chakra issues or like maybe some sort of like breathing issue or something that is um, being caused by the fact that you're not actually speaking your truth. This and as I as soon as I said that and I got that out, like I could actually I, I had a hard time breathing. That was really weird. <clears throat> this page of Pentacles is about lessons. Lessons that needed to be learned 
with being authentic. I feel like you are very much, and you might be a male or a female, but I feel like you're very much empress energy of like, you know, giving, or I'm sorry, receiving, but not actually doing like, like you, you expect other people to handle the situations or you expect these people to do these things, or you, you have like these expectations of people to fulfill specific needs for you. And every time you put your faith in these people, I feel like they're very disappointing, but I feel like, I feel like you need to take a little bit more action and to balance that out. I feel like you have to contribute a little more than you actually are. In those situations, clarify the Empress, Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. And the reason that you're having such a hard time in these situations and you always feel like every time you leave that it's just, it was like very unfulfilling is because you're dealing with people that are not mature. You're dealing with people that can't handle, you know, king or queen situations. You're dealing with knights and, and you're dealing with pentacles, but you're the king of swords and your authenticity and your thought processes. There's this fiery energy that it, that is um, coming up here. Eight of Pentacles, clarify. Ten of Wands and Seven of Wands. And the reason that you kind of got orphaned and you got this chaos and conflict was because you stayed too long in this situation. And you, you were the one that could have been doing everything and expecting to receive, or you could have been the person that was receiving and not actually taking action. Whatever it was, there was too much of one thing. I'm really surprised that the devil card did not pop out here. There is too much of inaction on some part of this. I and I'm not sit, I'm not sitting there saying like you were lazy. I'm sitting there saying like your expectations were expectations that a king or queen could fulfill, but you were working with knights. You, the people you were working with were never going to meet your expectations because they don't have the mentality or the capability to be able to fulfill the needs that you have because they're so immature. That's The people that you're dealing with are immature. They don't have the emotional IQ to take care of the situations that you were expecting them to. So you were constantly handling everything. And, like, the receiving that you were expecting was, I don't feel like it was, like, blown out of proportion. Like, you just didn't do anything. I feel like the receiving that you were expecting was, like, that of an adult. And you just had to constantly handle all of these situations and do these things. And and it was, like, constantly um, defending yourself. Constantly... Um, Fighting, like just, just just constant like bickering, I'm feeling. You, you have to constantly be the one to do everything. And so you finally, after the chaos and conflict, you finally walked away. You finally removed yourself from the situation because you're realizing that you were the one that had everything to begin with. You were the one that had all of the, the groundedness, the stability, and you were the one that actually had the emperor and the empress inside of you. You were the balance. You were the person that had the duality. And it's very... In this orphan card, I feel like the reason that you get it is because it's very upsetting. <clears throat> it's very upsetting that you couldn't trust the people that were in your life. And I feel like you're realizing it's it's one of those things like you're communicating with this person. And they sit there and they're like, oh, well, if you would have said it that way, then I would have understood. And it's like you look at the person and you say no. How come every time... I talk to you, you don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, but I have conversations with anybody else and they understand, they understand what I'm saying. Like you're the only person that doesn't understand. So it's the, the situ, the problem with the situation or the problem with the communication is not me. I am communicating just fine. You are, the, you know, there's something wrong with you in this, in this level of communication. And I feel like that's what happens is like, you're sitting here and they're like, I don't know what you mean. Like, what are you talking about? And like, you never understand anything I say. Like, the problem is not me. The problem is you. Like, I communicate just fine. And that's why you have to leave the situation. And I feel like you did spend a long time in this relationship. But I also feel like um, you were never getting anything out of it. 
there, you were never going to get anything out of it. So you didn't have a choice but to leave. You have to look at um, look at your what is in your best interest. Do you stay or do you leave? Like this balance that you're looking for in your life. It's like either you stay and you're the one that has to handle everything. You're the one that has to like constantly. It, then you can't expect anything from any of these people if you stay. This person, these people, whoever it is in your life, you can't expect anything from them. They're never going to fulfill what it is that you're looking for. If you leave, then you, you can find that balance that you're looking for. You can find where you want to go in your life. You can go through, release the burdens, go through the painful ending, go through the five of pentacles where you're pushed out on your own and, you know, it's like starting all over and creating something just for you and, you know, go through this chaos and come the difficult part of ending. You can do that. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. And that's why you have the orphan card. You know, that's the five and then this five of pentacles. There's a major change and shift in your energy. And I feel like you're walking away. See, there was constant fighting in the past. These cards have their backs turned to each other. So if you look at this, it's like chaos and conflict. The zebra horse thing is in the past. You know, it's ready to blow up. It's ready to end what the cycle that it's in. And then the orphaned card, it's like you're, you're going to go through the grieving process. And it's like, you know what? You, you know that it's going to suck while you're going through it, but you're going to do it. The king of wands, five of cups, ten of cups, nine of cups. Um, the overall energy is the king of wands. And it, it's like that fiery passion, that energy is like, it's almost like because you were neglected, because you had to, you know, you were getting like scraps from people for so long. It's like your passion and your drive. It's like little things that people do that are actually, you know, thoughtful and compassionate and caring. They're so fulfilling. And it's like you're seeing, oh, you know, that really is how people talk. That really is how, you know, adults have conversations. That really is, you know, situations that people have. And that's what it is. Ten of Cups, your happiness, it's like you're fulfilling yourself. And so it's like you're not depending upon anybody else for anything. Like you're taking responsibility for everything, um, whether it's with external relationships or internal relationships in your life. You're coming into that, I will fulfill my own wishes. I will grant my own wishes. I will make sure that my life is what it is that I want it to be. So that way when I'm at the end of my life and I look back, I can be very proud of, you know, going through this difficult transition and this difficult situation and getting out of it and pushing myself to live the best life. So that's what I, and it's like, you were only going to be there for a short, the, the painfulness, you know, the, the grieving process of losing the situation, it's only going to be short lived you know, considering the length of your life. So, I mean, it sucks that you're going through it and you feel this orphaned and this five of pentacles feelings, but, but you're creating the life that you want. <clears throat> Sagittarius. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those with you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you, and then you'll get notified all things Sagittarius, and I upload Sagittarius readings every single week, and it's completely free, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I will see you over there.